Alright, so hello there. I am Papa01 and this is AOS Virtual Forces 2 Show 9A and we're getting ready to start the first fifth spot chance qualifier for the PW division. These are the first four people for the four man tournament. So let's get started. As you know, I will thoroughly, well, we're always going to explain them and stuff like that, the rules and stuff like that, because when I explain the rules, it helps me to make sure I don't forget them, you know? Alright, so let's go and set this match up. So we got, let's go here, go we'll about here, nope, going here, to the four, and now I can go to, who the heck is it supposed to be again? Oh, I was going the right way. Well, it could be either way, you know. No, nah, I probably should have went this way, because he's already right here. Yeah. and that guy there very sake everything's the way it should be now before we get started with that let's look at these rules in English so we are on the PW division so we got five minutes. False count anywhere. Pinfo is on. TKO is turned off. Blood is on. Um, give up is on. Rope breaks are on. And time decision is on. And you already know. Interference always off. But I just put it on the screen because that's one of the rules that come up on here. So. Let's see right here. TKO is turned off. So we have five minutes. Pinfall is on. TKO is turned off. Quick match is turned off. Time decision is turned on. Interference is turned off. Blood is turned on. Rope break is turned on. Give up is turned on. And we gotta make this false count anywhere and we can start. So let me just iterate once again. We have five minutes. Pinfall is on, TKO is turned off, quick match is turned off, time decision is turned on, interference is turned off, blood is turned on, rope break is turned on, give up is turned on, um, false count anywhere, PW rules, alright, let's put it on the hardest difficulty, or make sure it's on the hardest difficulty, and now we can officially get started, oh, keep on pressing start, that's on me. You would think press the start would start the match, but all that takes you to the um, screen where you can see the rules and stuff. All right, enjoy. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep it to my word of not bothering the rules, or I mean, not doing commentary until we get to, you know, show B or whatever like that. And I have already um, set up show B because show B is just having to do with the rank the rankings and stuff like that after i get done with the you know setting up what's supposed to be for the um faction three combatants show show b's are just basically the rankings you know four versus five with that ranking match and then the normal contender matches with two versus threes and stuff like that so yeah it's already it's basically already set up after we get done with show nine I mean, with show C, when you get done with show C, show B's are pretty much set up, except for the, you know, the, the, um, what's it called, the, um, like I said earlier, the Faction 3 and the Combatants, those are basically set up. I am, 
I don't know how I feel about the, the game speed being like normalized and stuff like that because it makes it seem like the matches go by too quickly now. But I guess that's just because I'm so used to like it looking like five minutes is like, you know, ten minutes or not even ten minutes. Five minutes is usually seven and a half minutes, you know. A little bit longer of a match or whatever like that but I do like the fact that like we're starting to see wins that I would normally see if like it was probably taking as long as it used to and stuff like that but that has to do a lot with the rules too because for one thing I was very shocked to see how the freaking um grappling division played out because I thought I did what's the name of this service where I put him in the grappling divisions um qualifier um What's his name? I forget his name. Um, um, what's his name? Um, Big Van Vader. Because, yeah, I think I did put him in there. Yeah, because I think I, um, I put him in there because he has a lot of grappling moves, as you saw. That's how he won his qualifier through his grappling and stuff like that, through takedowns and stuff like that. But, like, I should have put him... Or Hanson in the um, KO division because they got a lot of good KO moves and stuff like that. And the one thing that's great about the KO division is like even though it's um, quicker for you to get the finishes with the um, KO division as far as like everything's concerned with that with the um, you know with the with the different type of knockdowns no, no matter if they're standing strikes. Or ground strikes or high flying strikes or grappling with the front grapples or back grapples or the grappling moves that you can use in the corner and stuff like that it's still a very viable like aspect of the game and stuff like that so and also with counters some characters got knockdowns they, they can hit through counters and stuff like that like the headbutt and you know, some people got with the eye poke and some other stuff. Tim Ryu may end up winning this because he's doing a lot of damage right now. I mean, I already started with the, com well, not commentary, but tell you about other stuff. Nice knock to the outside with that, with that jumping back kick. Nice axe kick that knocks down the opponent. If I have to guess, maybe Ten Ryu, because I saw him going on a little streak of attacks just not too long ago. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be him. I think the the strong grapples should count the most because this is a grappling game and stuff like that. Strong grapples should count the most, and then probably like high flying moves and submissions. Like, anything that you see normally in a grappling game, because, like, high flat moves you count a lot because, like, it's a wrestling game, and, like, strikes and submissions, you see that in, shoot, MMA games and a lot of other stuff as well. Or the MMA rule set. Yeah, that's the thing. Just between the MMA rule set and this rule set, or whatever like that. But who knows how it goes about it. I think I read where it supposedly... Like what they supposed to kind of like base stuff off of, but I don't know. I gotta guess that's the first who won. But again, sorry for just going on and talking about the stuff I just did right now. But I will not be talking during this next match. They had to wrestle before Ultimo Dragon, Great Socket. Enjoy. <laughs>
not doing the um what's the name commentary right now is because like I have not really watched none of the videos back by watch back pieces of the video and like it seemed like the higher I have like the volume up because of now that there the uh, you know the the music and stuff like that. I can barely hear myself if the if the sound is to a certain volume and stuff like that. I can't hear the sound of me talking or whatever. So that's the reason I'm trying not to do commentary because it sounds kind of weird with my voice in the background, even though there's no, you know, like where you could kind of really tell what I'm saying. And like that's kind of messed up because when I did uh, commentary, like for the first KO Division qualifier, I. I like to bring up stuff that's relevant, especially when it comes to my created characters and stuff like that. Or like um the history of the characters inside of the um the um what's the thing, AOS virtual Perez the two franchise or promotion or whatever you wanna call it. Cause there's certain things that I know about them or I remember with certain characters with our matches or like my creative wrestlers and like I can tell you like stuff that I know about their move sets and stuff like that, especially my creator wrestlers and stuff like that. Cause like <coughs> a lot that goes into like who I put in like which divisions qualifier has to be like how well would they be able to do it and if they can make it to like the championship or whatever like that. Do they have the potential for it? Cause like for example, like any character that doesn't have at least a full a few moves including like a standing um strike or whatever like that like they can do a knockdown like a strong attack they can do a knockdown a running attack can do a knockdown or whatever like that they can't go into the ko division because you need a few moves not just your finisher because i have done it in the past where i was like all right this guy has a finisher but like the thing is if his finisher is like the only real like move that he could use to get a knockdown and he doesn't get it because sometimes finishers won't result in a knockdown even in the KO division and that has quick match. So like they have to have at least a few moves and like that's why I mostly use my characters because the majority of my characters have a few different moves that does knockdown or whatever like that. And like the other thing about that is also if you look at the what's it called? What is that called again? The um the ground attacks. Some of my characters even have ground attacks that do knockdown and stuff like that. We're coming up on the last four and a half minutes. Yeah, I guess I just some um, talking during this match as well. Only because I did it with the other one and it only makes sense. Yeah, so, um, Sean or hair is how I, you know, open the dragon, like, um, uh, the ring of fire and stuff like that. Yeah. The salt ring of fire is totally different than what you're doing right now. Like, we could, um, before the finals get started, because, like, not just with him, but, um, Oh yeah. Alright, well now I can't back out when it comes to like the King Gauntlet match because with the King Gauntlet match you either continue to play or you don't because that is under the Western under Twitch, under exhibition. So that's why you can't go in now. These have their own character. This is the tournament that's the lead right here. But yeah, like, um, like, who just wants, like, see, like, I'll go here, and like, that's his default thing, and the same thing goes with him, this is his default, you know, their default is something else, and then we go right here, that's his default, you know, and then we can go to those for dragons, because of what I was talking about. This is his default. See? 
like you don't have to find the mask but you gotta put the other stuff that goes with the mask and you gotta find the best thing and i don't think he has his pants yet he has these pants instead and stuff so i think the person name again is sean o'hare let's let's see if i can find him if i put any information on here for him hmm. I thought I did. Oh yeah, right here. Surprised it to say the right thing, but like these are this is the what I used to use and I think I went on here. Yeah, I did put it on here. Okay. So yeah. Best YouTube channel for fighting. Virtual Fluorescent 2, correct, ring attire, shine on hair. Yeah, that's the person you search for. Yeah, so I did put something on here. Yeah, for him. Because that helped out a lot because I decided to start putting some people's correct ring attires on the game and stuff like that. Like, it had everything for that character when it came to quality characters and stuff like that. Some of them I still kept it the way I wanted to keep it, just because. But, like, for the majority of them, yeah, that's who I felt good different rig attire for and they and the way he got it categorizes is he does i think is yeah i think he does a whole entire like um column or whatever like that or whatever like that so like you know like we have i i w g p one two and IWGP Junior, and then we have for the Junior Heavyweights, and then we got the um, All Japan for us and one, two, and three, you know, and stuff like that. So, like, that stuff. But yeah, you can find it on there, and that's how I basically went about finding correct ring attires. As far as like how I got everybody on the game, I ain't played the game a thousand times because I ain't really care to try to play the game a thousand times. Especially without a controller, especially because I know that shit does take too long. I really just want to do simulations. So I know the cheat codes and stuff like that because you got first put in a cheat code that's for enabled codes, you know, and then you have to put in the ones that said there's three of them. So there's four codes total that you got to put. You got to put an enabled code and then the next three, they all say the same thing. No, it's four of them, I believe. It says. You put in their call unlock everything. You don't have to name them that, but that's why I named them. So I put unlock everything. Unlock everything. One, two, three, and four. Or something like that. Anyway, here goes the final. Just a quick little note real quick before this match actually gets started. Um, I believe Grey Sake has actually been ranked in this division before. So that's something to just a little quick little tip on before the match gets started. You know, but whoever wins wins and stuff like that. And like to me, the um the, this game has definitely changed because the speed of the gameplay. So, like, the matches are going five minutes exactly or however long the time limit is. So, like, you may see a lot of differences with, like, the, the um, what's the name? With the um, ranking matches and everything else. So, enjoy.
pretty much know who won or who's gonna get the decision here you know it's gonna be 10 Ryu especially after you hit that finisher that's 10 seconds that was a good match for the most part they were going back and forth for a little bit you know or they was taking turns for the for a little bit why did that end the last the way the um first match ended that's the way he ended the first match but so was but Irish whipping his opponent to the ropes and stuff like that, and then they just stop and turn around as he celebrates. <laughs> yeah, good matches. Congrats to him. He's officially the winner, man. And we can go out of that. Yeah, so currently I forgot to put the SD card back into this phone. So it's nothing when it comes to me recording. But the other phone, I got the other phone off because I forgot to charge it or whatever like that. But that's just the phone that, you know, I get phone calls and stuff, the new phones or whatever. Oh crap, what I went on there for? I'm supposed to go on here and where is it? So go from here, go all the way down to the very bottom, right there. Go on here, go here, and show 9A. Boom. Yeah, but I um the reason you don't see the videos is usually set up here because once I get done recording and everything, I usually put them on the SD card and put the SD card in the new phone and stuff like that. 
but I don't just do it any other, any sort of way, because, like, right here, like, if I had an SD card put in, I'll press, um, dismount, or you can go on what? Press dismount there, or you go on here, and I can't press ultimate because I'm not sure what that's going to do with this. But I'll go in here, I'll press storage, and it'll talk about, um, the advanced stuff. Usually it'll say advanced, but, like, I don't have the SD card on there. Like, but there's more than one way to, like, to take the SD card out safely from your device or whatever like that. No matter if it's a phone or a tablet or whatever it is. Because you're not supposed to take out the SD card without dismounting it because it makes no sense to just take it straight out and stuff like that because the information has to be you know that that's on the SD card kept on the SD card and stuff like that or whatever I don't know it's just that I think that's how I kind of messed up my old SD card so that's why I try to be better with the SD cards and stuff like that. Because you can't just take it out, put it in another device, and put it back in the device you're one or the other because you got to be dismounted. Or this. I think they say something about, you know, if you want to protect your information, that's how you do it because you could, you, because like basically what's going on with my old SD card, and I think that was like a 64 gigabyte SD card. This one is a what's the name, uh, 128 gigabyte SD card is that with the old one, I have a file on there that I cannot delete or do anything with, so it's just a blank corrupt file, and it says, um, and I'm pretty sure it's a video file, but it's, you know, it's just on there, it just says a, it's just a blank file, and it's on there, and it just, I can't do anything with it and it says 0, 0.0 kb and it just sits on there i can't move it around or anything or do anything to it definitely can't delete it i try to delete it i put it in like a laptop i put the s i put the um sd card on a laptop and try to delete it off the laptop or whatever like that try to see if i can figure out a way to delete it off of there it wouldn't do it so it's just stuck on there and it corrupts the information so now whatever's on the SD card can't be everything else because of that everything else that's on the SD card cannot be transferred on to internal storage I'm pretty sure if I wanted to I could probably like you know share it or upload the information somewhere but like I haven't tried that because I don't want that to be like I know that won't probably mess up with anything else but I'm not sure if I transfer it or send information over Besides pictures or whatever like that, I'm not sure if it's going to actually, like, play full videos. Because I, I did have to, like, I was trying to re-record over videos I had on there. Because, like, they were um, videos that I haven't uploaded onto YouTube. And I believe they were for the Giant Graham All Japan Pro Wrestling 2. And, like, I couldn't, like, put that stuff on to a different phone or upload them. I didn't try to because I didn't want that the one problem lead to another and stuff like that. And like I just didn't want to download something that has corrupt stuff on it. So if I did doing information or do anything like that, usually what I do is like I'll try to like re record over it. But a lot of times I couldn't re record over it. So like like, as far as, like, the matches and stuff like that, if you look on there for, like, certain parts of the Giant Grand All Japan for us, too, it got its own playlist on YouTube as well. Like, certain ones, I'm just talking about it while showing you little bits and clips of it because it's not going to let it play all the way through the way it's supposed to. So, that's the way I go about doing all that stuff. Yeah. So that's why I try to be precautious and stuff like that. So like when the SD card is now on here, I just I mean I took it out, but I took it out the correct way because you got to um, unmount it, the um, SD card or whatever like that, before you take out the phone. Because, yeah, you can just take it out your phone, but, like, you need to 
unmount it before you do. Because if you ever had, like, the old consoles with the, let's just say the PlayStation 1 or 2 or whatever like that with the little memory card, you don't just take the memory card out. You freaking, you know, you freaking um, turn off the system. Then you take it out. Take it out or whatever like that. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. You turn off the system. Then you take out the memory card or whatever like that. But to me, like, you can turn off your phone to take out the memory card. But I think that's not the correct way to do it, though. I think you have to actually let the device you're using know that you're taking out the memory card and let them know to take it off of the phone before you actually take out the phone like disconnect it from the phone then take it out of the phone or device so disconnect it from the device while the device is on then you take it out the device that'll probably be the best way to say it anyway i'm rambling on about something else and yeah that is the end of the video and once again congratulations to to Ryu. he did well he won that match he dominated both of his opponents you know and great sake he he did great you know yeah man um ultimate dragon they match was pretty compelling all the matches were actually you know just that when we got down to like the last half of the matches like, we knew who the winner kind of was and stuff like that. Except for probably um, Otomo and Sake. I think we didn't really, like, know who won until the actual end of it. Because they both did well. Yeah, that was probably the most competitive match. All right, so until the next one. Hope you enjoy and later. And don't remember. And don't forget. I said don't remember. Don't forget to like like share subscribe is that how they say it or whatever like that yeah but no you don't gotta worry about all that all right because i'm gonna be doing these regardless all right so next one later